few different ways to find the sine of 210 degrees. All right, first we could draw the dang thing. When we're talking about drawing an angle of 210 degrees, tell me where to stop. Ah, right about there, huh? That's about 210 degrees. You know that half a circle is 180 degrees. Yeah. Okay, so you know the terminal side of that angle, mm-hmm, is 210 degrees. Excellent. Well, what we intend to do here is find a reference triangle. A reference triangle, that's when we draw a perpendicular to the x-axis from the terminal side of that angle. So if this is 210 and that's 80, what degree measure does this have right here? 30. Yeah, why? Because there, that's 210 minus 180. And that's how we get a 30 degree reference angle. So then with my reference angle, I have a reference triangle. So a 30 degree, 30 degree measure, oh sure. Um, that from your unit circle is gonna have coordinates of, which one's longer? The X or the Y? The x is longer, so this is root 3 over 2, and this is 1 half. All right, fine. Now here in my third quadrant, my x's are negative, and so are my y's. So that's that point right there. What were we using? We were using a unit circle and the idea of a reference triangle. So I should change this to reference and unit circle. Is this the only way to do this? Absolutely not. Um, what was I looking for? I was looking for sine. On a unit, on a unit circle, the sine is the x or the sine is the y? The sine is the y. So then this guy happens to be minus one half. And then what? You're done. And a flat.